What's going on, everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We're going to be going over Miami Coin today. We got so much that's going on inside Miami Coin and City Coins in general. So, yeah, shout out to all the Miami natives. Shout out to all the Florida natives. Shout out to everyone invested in Miami Coin. We can't do this without each other. So, yeah, remember to hit the like button and subscribe because it really helps the YouTube channel out immensely with the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also, if you want to help support the channel, go ahead and send a donation through the PayPal donation link or the Cash App donation link. And also, if you want these automated trading indicators, this is tied to the trading view. And if you want this trading view indicators, definitely check out the Vital Algo link in the description. You can use the discount code Marcellus for 25% off. Now, First things first, let's go over the technicals here with Miami coin, right? So the first thing I want to say is my previous video, I mentioned this consolidation. I was like, look, I'm looking at this consolidation and this is a bullish sign right here. It was a bullish pennant. And, you know, I was looking at it, I'm like, this is definitely bullish. Now, these green areas right here, this is pretty much showing supply and demand. It's showing that we have lots of demand in the green areas. The red areas on our other hand is showing that we have less demand inside the red areas. So actually, you can see right now, we've been stuck at the same resistance. Like Miami coin is not wanting me to go to three cents for a while. Like we've been stuck at the same resistance. And you can see this red area is prominent all the way throughout this area here. So we're still trading between these two channels. So yeah, it's definitely showing right now that there's lots of resistance here for Miami coin. So when we're going to break out of it, I'm not too sure. But I can definitely tell you we are having heavy resistance at three cents. So right after we broke out of this pennant here, we went on a bullish pattern here, but then we got stopped here at the supply and demand area, which sent us here on this downtrend. And then as you can see, we just, you know, started going up and down, up and down this uptrend here. A second with that, the second that we hit this green area here, which is showing our high demand for Miami coin, we just started to rally all the way up here. And then that's when we got rejected because we had lower demand. And every time we hit these green areas, we always rise. So right now where we're currently at, what I can tell you right now is we are at a green area right now. So this is green. This is showing that there is some demand here for Miami coin at this area. And we just now went down on a downtrend. So this actually shows us that we're quite possibly going to try to rise back up and retest these previous levels of 028. Right now we're around 02712. So we can anything can happen right now with Miami coin and I'm long term on it. So I really don't care whether or not Miami coin go or Miami coin goes down or up. I honestly don't care because just to let you all know, I have a lot, not a lot of Miami coins, you know, I got like 4,000 or 5,000 Miami coins that I actually have staked. So I'm staking that for the stacks on OK coin. And it's definitely a good thing to do. If you're holding Miami coin, you want to have that Miami coin stacked. You want it to have it stacked and you want to get those stacks. The second I seen, like I did the first cycle. And then after I seen that money come in from the first cycle, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to go with the 160 or the 180 day. It might be 170 day, but it's somewhere around there. It gives you two options. You can either do the 14 day one or the 170 or whatever day one. And I did the longest one. So it's like half a year. So I'm going to be stacking like my 5,000 Miami coins for like half a year. So after that, it's going to give me like 400 or so dollars inside stacks. And by that time in 170 days, the stacks price is going to be up. So it's going to have appreciated. So it will be definitely more than $400. And the Miami coin price would have also have appreciated by 170 days from now, which is somewhere around May or uh, April next month. So our next year, not next month, but yeah, somewhere around next year, around April or May, that's when I'll be getting my Miami coins back and I'll be getting my earned stacks. So, you know, just to give you a little transparency on what I'm doing here with Miami coin, I'm holding it for the long run. I'm going to keep stacking more Miami coin, like the more paychecks I get in from my job, I'm going to put more money in it. But yeah, let's talk about this right here. So right here, as you can see on the oscillator, you're seeing we were a little bit overbought. And that's why I was saying like there's up here around three cents, there's less demand for Miami coin. But whenever we're around two, you know, two, seven, zero, two, seven, we have more de demand for Miami coin and definitely a lot of demand for Miami coin around zero to five. So as you can see here at this chance of reversal, we had this little uptrend here. We tried to go up and that was a little bit overbought. So right now it's showing that we're actually a little bit bearish here, Miami coin. But that's short term, you know. Long term, Miami coin is bullish in my personal opinion. But remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. But personally, I do believe Miami coin is bullish. But yeah, right now, we're definitely going to be, you know, a little bit reluctant to rise right here. Because as you can see here with Miami coin, you can see right here, we have, you know, 5.4% down for the last seven days. Haven't really done much in the last 24 hours. You know, down up 16% in the last 14 days, down 35% in the last 30 days. Something that I really like about Miami coin, though, is if you look at this over here, this is showing about two months. You know, Miami coin has not been out for that long. It's been out for about two months, you know, since August. 
So you, you, you really have to be patient for this. It's been out in you know, maybe two or three months. I'll give it three months, about three months. So you really have to be patient. We're only up 746% from our all-time low. That's really, really, really good because that means we have a lot of upside potential here with Miami coin. Just imagine the typical crypto that blows up is like 10,000% up. It's usually like 100,000% up. Shiba Inu, Shiba Inu is up 48% or 48 million percent, not 48%, 48 million percent total. Like that's crazy, humongous. So Miami coin, it definitely has potential like that. Miami is a big, Miami has a big economy. You know, let me just say this. Miami has a huge economy. So for Miami coin to be the governance token of the city of Miami, I mean, you got to think about it. There's billions of dollars flowing through the city of Miami. And, you know, Shiba Inu is at like $14 billion. Imagine Miami coin at $14 billion. That would be huge right there. That'd be very huge. So I'm going to be doing some math here really quick. So, all right. So right now you can see the total Miami coins claims $2.3 billion. That means that we have $2.3 billion Miami coins uh, circulating, right? So... Just to make sure, let's type inside how many Miami coins circulating. So how many Miami coins circulating? All right. So I'll go over here for circulating supply. You'll probably get something uh, in a total of 50 billion. And it says it was a circulating supply of 50. Now they're saying 50 billion. But um, I don't know if this is 100% right. So I'm going to click it and make sure there is something that can tell us. All right. So it's saying a total of 50 billion. I don't know if that's 100% right. So you all might have to correct me on this. So there has to be definitely somewhere that I can find. But, you know, this is the total supply. That's not circulating. It's total. So I guess we can do. Oh, no, this is just Miami. That's not actual Miami coin. All right. That's just something. That's something else. All right. So let's just do the one that we have here. So this would have to do for now. So 2.3 billion. Right. So let's take this 2.3 billion circulating and then paste this here. Go ahead and divide this. By our current price, 02712. All right, so divide that by point or multiply either one, 0.02712. And this is what you get. So, yeah, Miami Coin has about $86 million in market cap. That's, I don't know if it's 100% right. So, don't mark me here on that. It could be right. It could be wrong. 86 million, or actually, let's. Uh, let's go ahead and do something else here. So let's do it like this and then multiply it by 0 0.02712. And then that would get you around 50 million. So give or take 50 million, 86 million, somewhere around there. We, we got something like that, right? Inside of Miami coin circulating. So there isn't even that much money in it, which means there's a lot of upside potential. Now there's other things I actually want to mention about Miami coin over here. When you see this over here, Miami coin is now available on iPhone via Xverse wallet. Now we're on two exchanges, OK coin, and we're also on Xverse wallet. So that's actually pretty big right there. That means more money can flow through Miami coin through another avenue because now that we have an OK coin in this, that's really good news. And I'm in OK coin. I really like OK coin. So something else that was actually a big, big statement that they made, they said not everyone will be as receptive to Miami coin or to city coins as Francis Siraz at the start. And that's OK. Consider every question as an opportunity to kindly inform others about city coins and blah, 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 blah. Good stuff. So pretty much what they're saying is, a lot of these other cities that they really want to get on board don't want to get on board. So it's not that they're not, it's not that they're dragging their feet on this and it's not that they're not trying to get other cities on board. It's just that the other cities are reluctant to do this. You know, they're trying to get San Francisco in, you know, they're trying to get San Francisco going, but you have to think about it. They are from San Francisco. Like OK coin is from San Francisco city coins operating from San Francisco. So they're trying to get it on there. And the fact that San Francisco hasn't sanctioned it yet definitely tells you that they're really right in their statement. Like a lot of these different cities just don't want to do the, do it like that. You know, they probably want to do their own coin probably, and it will be their own coin. But I don't I don't know. Something fishy is going on here. So anyways, which cities activate cities coins next will have nothing to do with their politics. It all comes down to the strength of their communities and each city's willingness to embrace change. Pretty much, you know, stating on their what they just now said. Someone else said Tampa. That would be pretty nice to see. We already have one Florida coin here, so it would be nice to see something else. But yeah, it just all depends on what these cities are going to do for their people and for their city. Because the city coins is really out there to help the people of the city. You know, it, it's helping building infrastructure out in Miami. Like they already got twenty four million dollars there, and that kind of brings me to my next thing. So, anyways, if you are a mayor right now, you should be asking yourself. 
what's the actual downside to adopting city coins in my city? That's actually a pretty big statement. There's no downside. There's only upside. It's going to help build money for the city so the infrastructure can continue to build. Anyways, over here, the actual mayor of Miami, he said this, as Miami continues to grow and move towards a future more reliant on renewable electricity, we need to have the infrastructure in place to meet our demand. And this is what I'm talking about. This is what they're using Miami coin for, literal infrastructure for Miami. So downtown Miami injection underground transmission line. They're going to be doing lots of stuff here to combat, you know, different stuff like rising sea levels and just a bunch of different stuff with the city. So the downtown Miami injection line serves 50,000 residents and will improve service and be more resilient against severe weather. So this is definitely going to help us. Infrastructure installation, cable installation, cable splicing, testing, and all this other good stuff. So it's going to provide Miami residents with enhanced reliability of service and a more resilient energy grid, you know, because we do get flooded out there in Miami often, and it's going to help a lot of people out there. So big stuff is going to happen. So anyways, in the most basic form, the government should exist to protect people. They're even funding the police of Miami with, you know, probably money from Miami coin, which is actually helping. I don't, I don't understand why people say defund the police. You see all the crime happening in New York. You see all the crime happening in L.A. It's because they're defunding the police. And Miami is actually funding the police even more now. And it's going to help with Miami coin. So this is pretty good news here. Shout out to them for this. Shout out to the police out there actually protecting people. But anyways, let's go out to all these other things we have. Calling on all founders and funders who have moved their companies to the city of Miami. Like I said, Miami has a huge infrastructure. It has huge money going through it. You know, it has a huge economy. So lots of money that flows through economy that flows through the uh, Miami economy is flowing through people that aren't even from Miami, but they're moving their business out there, which also helps Miami coin. So literally, Miami is about to explode. Miami is the Bitcoin capital of the world, not of the United States of the world. Anyways, $21.6 million is now sitting inside of the Miami wallet. So yeah, the city of Miami's wallet has $20 million in it, 21.6. That's pretty good right there. And then this, we are starting to have Miami NFTs coming out, Miami coin NFTs. So definitely watch out for that soon. Big stuff going on here. But yeah, remember though, I'm not a financial advisor. Now this financial advice, not telling people to dump their money in Miami coin. I'm just saying I believe in Miami coin personally in my personal opinion. And I think that has some potential in my personal opinion. So yeah, if you do like the video though, hit the like button, subscribe. It'll really help the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. If you know the circulating supply of Miami coin, and the total supply of Miami coin. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know. I think that the one on the website of the actual Stacks Miami website that I showed earlier is right. I believe is 100% right, but don't mark me on that. Definitely let me know if it's right or not, because I definitely think it's right, because they should be updating that website like 24 seven. But anyways, yeah, leave a comment in the comment section, hit the like button, subscribe. If you wanna donate, definitely send some donations through the PayPal or a cash app donation link in the description. And if you want this vital algo, all these indicators here, these technical indicators, definitely check out the vital algo link in the description. And I'll be back with another video. Peace.